well, seems that the military is not the only faction of the government that is under a Jesuit Joe Biden and promoting the LGBT homosexual transgender propaganda this so-called Pride Month, which you look at the health risks of homosexuality, it's uh, completely misplaced pride. But uh, in this case, you have the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, uh, welcomes Pride Month in this really cringe type of tribute. You know, again, with this cringe thing of, oh, we're the rich history of our gay, you know, employees, they do their jobs pretty well. It's like, well, you're paying them, so they better be doing their jobs. You know, it's a bunch of garbage, but this is on Breitbart News. It says the CIA welcomes Pride Month. Pay tribute to the rich history of our LGBTQ officers. Again, it's like you're giving them a paycheck, so they better be doing their jobs. You know, it's like, oh, this guy can do his job and he's, he's a homosexual. Well, I, again, it's like, you know, that's kind of why he's getting the paycheck, but it's just a bunch of stinking virtue signaling. But this is in the article, the Central Intelligence Agency celebrated LGBTQ Pride Month on its official social media page and welcomed people to celebrate the rich history of its LGBTQ officers. Using welcome as an acronym, the official CIA Twitter page uh, said for people to consider the wellness equity of uh, LGBTQ community openness and me, declaring CIA's 2023 theme for Pride Month is welcome. Uh, Pride Month is occasion for all of us in the agency to pay tribute to the rich history and community and mission contributions of our LGBTQ officers, the tweet added. Well, if you're giving them a paycheck, they ought to be doing their jobs. But, you know, it's like it's like, it's like a heterosexual could do the job as well if you give them a paycheck. It's like, okay, so we're going to celebrate the rich history of our heterosexual employees too. It's like, you know, they wouldn't do that because it would get the LGBT mob coming down on them like a ton of bricks. It says in the article, the agency began heralding its woke bona fides in 2021 when it released an ad starring a cisgender millennial touting her identity. As John Nolte wrote at the time, the video plays like Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. If Saturday Night Live itself wasn't infected with woke, uh, it's not a spoof. It sits proudly as the CIA, on the CIA's verified YouTube page with the hashtag Know Your Value and Women in Intel. And paid for with your tax money too, by the way, if you're an American. Uh, the recruitment video features a preening, unnamed narcissist who literally struts around uh, preaching about how awesome she is and how proud she is of herself, not because of her accomplishments, but because she is something she has no control over, her identity, her race, her gender, her sexuality, and even, get this, her generalized anxiety disorder. Um, how is a disorder something to be proud of? Weird. But hey, this is Joe Biden, this is, this is Jesuit Joe Biden's America. <laughs> So we're going to be proud of our generalized anxiety disorder. Yeah, whatever. Did you notice uh, well, uh, the one word this disgusting CIA, CIA officer did not use? Not once did she, did she use the word American. She's gushing about self-pride over her identity, but not once does she mention I am an American. Yeah, her identity. I'm proud of having generalized se uh, anxiety disorder. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm proud of, of basically being mentally disabled. What a bunch of garbage. But this is this is the CIA. This is this is what this is what Jesuit Joe Biden is using your tax money for. This uh, homosexual Pride Month. If you're an American, well, here in Canada, it's pretty much just as bad. The only difference is that our prime minister is a bit younger, doesn't have have dementia. But in terms of his policies, he's just as, as every bit as socially liberal as Joe Biden is. So anyway, I wanted to just just laugh at this whole mess. I mean, and and you wonder why. America's enemies have no reason to fear America. Well, I mean, this is precisely why. You have a dementia-ridden um, elderly president who is pushing all this garbage with your tax money. So anyway, we wanted to point that out. It's a bunch of garbage, but fun to laugh at every once in a while. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.